it's me Renee, I'm back and today I got a library haul for you guys. So yeah, I went to a library on Saturday and I borrowed half the library, not half, but like a whole bag full. And I also kind of finally figured out how to like, how to order books for your library because I was, no, I didn't order books for the library, but okay, so I am. Um, I uh, ordered books for other libraries and just kind of I'm uh, getting them at my library, at my closest library. And uh, yeah, so I'm doing a readathon in April, spoiler alert. Uh, so I found quite a lot of books that could work for that. So yeah, I have a lot of books on my way as well. So I suppose maybe, no, you know, this it, this is actually going up today. So I suppose, yeah, I'll, having, I'll, be, I'll be having more library books in the future. But today, this is a library book I'm going to talk to you about. Uh, also, spoiler alert, quite a lot of these are Norwegian uh, no, I suppose yeah, a few of these are Norwegian books, but yeah, sometimes I read Norwegian as well. So first we have Store Helter i Småbåter av Jon Vinge. So this is a book all about stories from the sea, uh, sea, uh, sea, sea. Uh, so it's like a library from a ship. So it's all about, yeah, people discovering things at sea and whatnot. So it's both like, uh, it's both, uh, yeah, it's different kind of, yeah, different like travel logs from the sea. Uh, it's Columbus, it's Norwegian people, it's all over really. And yeah, looks like a fun book. I think it might work for a read that I'm doing. So yeah. Uh, then we have Kvinner i Philosofien. Women in philosophy. Uh, I love feminism. I love feminism. Feminism. So whenever something has like a woman in title, I'm like, give it to me. But this has philosophy in title, which I suppose philosophy is. It's not my like main jam, but I don't hate it. And as well, I'm I kind of like philosophy in a way. Like I kind of think I, I like to think like why and how and like about those kinds of things. I think sometimes philosophy can be a bit heavy, but like sometimes it can also like not be that heavy. So yeah. And then we have Multikrieg or Multigleder. Uh, so this is a Norwegian book. This came out. It's Norwegian book in Norwegian, so yeah. Uh, and it's all about cloudberries. Cloudberries. I mean, you have an English name for the cloudberry, but I believe it's quite common here in Norway. I don't think it's that common outside of Norway, at least. I suppose you probably might have it some places in other places in the world because there's a word for it in English. Like, if it was totally uncommon, I suppose you wouldn't have a name for it in English. Or, I don't know. But yeah, this is, yeah, an non fiction book about flagberries. And I thought, like, you know what? I want to pick it up and read it. And I've been kind of having it in my radar for a while, and I thought, why not for it right now? And then we have Ikke Tenk for Me by Tegnehanne. Also, this is a Norwegian comic. Uh, and so, like, in this, she kind of does a thing where she, like, she has a comic and then she talks a bit about the comic, so it's not just a comic. And, uh, yeah. I Honestly, I'm not quite sure if I've read this comic or if it's another one by her I've read. But she's quite funny and fun, so... Yeah, as was also like if I have read it, I can just return it. Easy as that really. So yeah. And then we have uh, a new poem, uh, "Folk Flest Er Gode" uh, by Ritberg Bergman. So this is the guy who um, he's a Dutch kind of philosopher, like thinker. Is he a philosopher or is he like? I think he's kind of a philosopher, like it's made socialist. Like he's a he's like a social science guy. Anyway, so this is a book all about humans and how maybe we aren't that bad. And like the human human mind and kind of yeah things like that. And uh, yeah. I plan to pick this one up for the readathon. It is a bit of a chunker, but yeah, I have it as an option now anyway. And then we have Ti konger og dronninger som forandret verden. So 10 uh, kings and queens who changed the world. Again, works for Uniform. 
as most well as uh, profound history for and participating as you have guests in the Eurovision fun. I'm going to be a bit of a bit of in other videos and I've done it for three years now. Two years, three years. I've done it some years before now. And yeah, so this one could work quite good for that, I think. So yeah. And then we have Kunsten og Feike, uh, Feike Arabisk, a fortelling om autisme. So this one came, this book came out in November, I want to say, yeah. And it's by Lina Lehmann, and she's a Swedish woman, but she's, this was translated to Norwegian, Norwegian. And she got diagnosed with autism in her adult life, and this is kind of about her life and how, yeah, having autism and her discovery to having autism and having autism as an adult and kind of stuff like that. And yeah, I think it's going to be interesting. So yeah, definitely going to use it for uh, Sweden for your version of one. So yeah, I suppose this spoiler alert, it's already been announced, but yeah. And uh, some of these books, as I said, I'm pretty sure I'm going to use for the Eurovision form, so I suppose you get getting a little sneak peek at my TBR now, so yeah. And then we have Pandora's Jar, Woman in Greek Myths by Natalie Haynes. So yeah, a lot of Greek myths, so like this, well, the ones you think about, like that, is kind of based around men, Jason, you have uh, Hercules, Poseidon, whatnot, but this is all about the woman, um, woman gods and woman people in Greek myths, and um, yeah. We have Penny Royal Academy uh, by M. A. Larson. It's a middle grade, middle grade uh, school, middle grade series, and it just looks charming and nice. And it's all about princesses and knights and whatnot. And um, it's set in a boarding school, and I believe there might be like a movie on the way from it. Um, well, am I mixing it with something else? I think Reese Witherspoon actually has the, the rights. I might be wrong here. But yeah, anyway, it looks charming and nice. And yeah, there's two more books at least in the series. So. Hunbaumde by Louis on Louis O'Neill. Uh, um, it's a Norwegian version of She Asked for It. It's a book that came out a few years ago about rape and rape culture and whatnot. A YA book about that kind of stuff. Uh, Louis O'Neill is an Irish author, so yeah, spoiler again might be for your version of one. So yeah, so um, I do already have an Irish book, but there's a lot of options. As well as nothing that we have options really. We have Adult Assembly Required by Abby Waxman. Waxman. This one I just kind of found randomly in the store and it, in the store in the library, and it looked nice. It has a good, uh, good praise on the back, and it looks to be a funny and sweet story. So yeah. I was told it would get uh, easier by Abby Waxman as well. And yeah, kind of looks like a nice, uh, funny road trip story. So, yeah. Now we met this again by Kristen Hamel. So I read quite a lot of Kristen Hamel books now. I felt like, you know what, I might as well get another one because why not? And yeah, as with most of the books, this one takes place both in the Second World War, but also in Contemporary Day, and um, yeah, I think I'm going to be emotional reading it, but yeah. And then we have Pride and Protest by Nikki Payne, a uh, Pride and Prejudice retelling, as you might have guessed, uh, set in modern, modern day US, I want to say. Yep. And, um, is it? Is the why you're telling or is it adult retelling? No, it's a CAO, so yeah, it's an adult retelling, so yeah, and uh, yeah, 
probably won't use this for your solution because that won't work, but yeah, wanna check it out. Also, your version fund doesn't start until the 15th of April, so I have some time before that. And then I have just a few more books. So we have Enashun Ishak by Johan Nust. This is actually the debut book by this author. And it's sold lots of books and yeah, it's kind of, um, kind of blew up the market. And it's a crime, which I don't read that much crime really. Uh, but yeah, this one I kind of was like, yeah, you know what, I kind of want to check it out. And they're actually also making making a movie about, from it as we speak, or like the beginning of making a movie. So this is, so the story behind it is that someone kidnaps the Prime Minister of Norway, and uh, to like get the Prime Minister safe, they have to uh, play both a literal uh, chess game, but also like a chess game of the mind, in a way. And, uh, yeah, you know what, um, the game could be interesting, uh, I'm kind of curious if I like it or not, but I suppose, if I don't like it, I'll just see of it, and I'll say I've tried it out, and, uh, yeah, because, yeah, as I said, I don't like crime that much, and when I do, it's often, like, close the crime, or classic crime, Agatha Christie, Sherlock Holmes, whatnot, but, yeah. And then we have Threatening, threatening Fantastic Kotelinger. So yeah, I suppose I just said I don't like crime, and this is crime. But, okay, so this is cozy crime, or like classic crime. It's uh, Agatha Christie, and you have John Dickinson's car, and yeah, so locked room mysteries and whatnot. And um, yeah, I'm thinking this could be perfect actually for next week, for Easter, because I suppose it depends on where you are in the world, I suppose. Yeah, kind of is a Norwegian thing. But at least in Norway, Easter is kind of more or less equal crime. like. Everybody, everybody reads some crime at Easter or they'll watch a crime TV series or like there's always going to be like some crime thing in a way. We, we, we love crime. We love crime all year round but in Easter it's like that's kind of our main thing. Like of course Easter is like crime and candy. Like the whole thing with Jesus and whatnot. It's kind of the backdrop but it's not that interesting. We're just like crime, Easter crime. So yeah. And then we have, last but not least, Norges Konger for Tone Sider. So this is a story, the non-fiction story about Norwegian kings. Uh, so it's a kind of a series where uh, this publisher, Kager, Kagu, Kage, they published some uh, non-fiction stories uh, about like different subjects on just 200 pages. So it's kind of like a intro to a topic. So you have this one, you have the Norwegian Feminism in 200 pages, you have the Bible in 200 pages, you have uh, you have the Second, Second World War in 200 pages, the Middle East in 200 pages, and yeah, this Norwegian Kings 200 pages, I think I actually might use this new version of one, because, yeah, in the old days, lots of royalty kind of co, they merge across the countries, so, yeah, might find something. Uh, I could use here, I'm not quite sure, might do it, and um, yeah, and that, yeah, that is my library haul for you today, I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, I'll see you soon, bye.